What is going on guys? Marcus here with the Reformation Wood Shop. In today's video, I'm going to show you how the Anchor Makes brand new 3D printer, the M5C, just made upgrading my workshop so much faster and easier. Even though I have already used this 3D printer to print cool stuff for my kids like this handsaw, I'm going to be showing you guys 10 things that I printed that make working in the wood shop a whole lot more fun. So because this was my first time using this 3D printer, I wanted to start slow and make a few things that I knew wouldn't be overly complicated. The first thing I decided to make was an addition for my impact drill. It's just a cool little piece that you can screw straight onto your drill for bit storage. It's obviously not groundbreaking technology or anything, but it was just a quick and easy way to see what this printer could do. Item number two, you guys know that I love storage. Most of the time I make storage for all of my power tools out of wood, but sometimes it's nice to have a different medium like 3D printed filament. I found these drill holders and they are perfectly balanced. They hold your drill exactly where you want it. And since I'm a nice guy, I went ahead and added them to some of the other guys' workstations around the shop. And finally, because I have a lot of odds and ends that I don't really know how to make storage for, I found this file with all of these weird shapes. I went ahead and printed it and picked a few out of it that I liked. For instance, this little hook right here was good for safety glasses and it's good for pliers too. But what's great about it, it has a dovetail slot in it. You can take it right off and add any of those other little pieces that you printed in its place. I've dealt with other 3D printers in the past and I've got to say this 3D printer is fast. I don't even have it up to the highest settings. And with the first three projects, it printed so smooth. For a couple of the bit holders, it printed in just over an hour. For the whole pack of hooks and all the accessories, it took about two hours. And for two of the drill holders, it took just about two hours. I could tweak the settings and get that going even faster, but I do like the quality of print that came from the machine as is, so I'm not messing with anything. For this next print, I am very excited to try for height on this printer, and I've just been wanting to print this item for a long time, so we're gonna get straight into it. So this is the print that scared me. I was worried that this guy might topple over, but it did not. Thank the Lord. Everything looks really good. This is a tape caddy or duct tape roll holder. You'll understand my problems if you have electrical tape, duct tape, and something like masking tape. If you stock up on tapes of all different assortments and sizes, you'll know that storing them together is kind of odd and obnoxious. Well, this guy is the perfect print for you. The heat bed stays just hot enough to keep everything intact and safe while it's printing, and it came off exactly when I wanted it to. Can I press it? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. And I want to paint the hammer, okay? You want to paint it? Yeah, like okay. pink. Pink? Item number four and a half. This is not truly an item on the list, but I think you needed a little bit of cuteness in your life. So I went ahead and printed with my daughter just for fun because I wanted to make something that matches the handsaw that I made for my son. These prints may not apply to you unless you're like me and you want to include the kiddos in all things woodworking. I'll list all the toys in the description as well so that you can go and get them if you want to make them. The next two prints, I did them all at one time and they fit comfortably on this bed that is 220 millimeters by 220 millimeters. The first print is used to see if your table saw blade is level or out of whack. This is a micro micro level of measuring to see if it's time to calibrate your table saw blade. Did I pass the test? Right over the curve, level blade, level blade, level blade. This is a pretty cool print. The next print I did is probably the most useful print on the list and I should have probably put it last because it's so special to me. It is a data wing jig. It's made specifically for taking chunks out of wood. It has spaces in the bottom so you can use magnets or it has a clamp slot on the top so you can attach it directly to your table saw. This guy is awesome and it will definitely be in the rotation of things I use frequently. What's really great about this 3D printer, it works all with a touch of one 
single button. It has one button on the machine that controls pausing, playing, stopping, all that kind of stuff. With just one click, you can customize the buttons on the M5C to suit your needs. The app makes it super easy to customize functions for single click, double click, and long press actions. You can print, reprint, level, or home. And you can pause or stop the printer simply with that one click. You can also use your laptop and your smartphone. The AnchorMake software is very smooth. All you have to do is drag and drop whatever it is you want to print. Quickly sort everything out on the bed, slice it, it will load for you, select your printer and print. What's really cool about this software is that your mobile phone software is in tune with it and integrated together. So as soon as you click print and open your app, your phone knows exactly what's going on and can give you an accurate ETA on when your prints will be done. I have almost everything in my shop hung on walls until I saw this level sitting here and I got really sad and realized that that level had no place to call its home. So I'm gonna change that. I quickly made these two little holders for it and now it has a place to comfortably sit. This is a level holder made specifically to hold your levels out of harm's way. I know what you're thinking. This guy is the most creative, exciting 3D printing person I've ever seen in my life. Item number eight that I printed with a little bit more complexity to it is this marking gauge or 45 degree marking gauge specifically with this cool little ruler that I already had in my shop. You can lock it in place and then go and get your markings and have guaranteed accuracy. Item number nine is a handsaw guide slash line marker. I don't even know what it's called. I tend to not be too vibrant with my print colors because who cares, right? It's just a color. But for this guy, I switched up to the blue, make it nice and purdy. It helps to make perfect mitered cuts and also marks lines perfectly across any surface that you need. This print is really cool. So you can get your pencil in there and you'll have varying degrees with your pencil that you can hit if you are writing along a board and need to mark a specific line every single time. In the past, I have given some of my 3D prints to my coworker to try out. So this time was no different. I gave him some of these and he said immediately that he could tell the quality difference. If you're into doing things that are very, very high quality where you need to sand, paint, and sand, the AnchorMake M5C is crystal clear printing. This is a very good base to start with if you're gonna have to work to make something polished and beautiful. <gasps> you broke it. And lastly, a very simple print to end it off. One of the prints that I love the most because it just is practical and makes woodworking easy is a height gauge. If you've ever needed to know a specific height from the floor or needed to figure out how to take off a specific amount of material, maybe from a table leg or something like that, a height gauge is perfect for that. This was a quick little print that in the long run makes life so much easier. Thank you guys for watching. The AnchorMake M5C is a brand new 3D printer available now. So if you're interested in taking a deep dive into that, I will leave all of the links in the description so you can find it. On top of that, all of the links for all of the prints I mentioned will be in the description. If you have any questions about 3D printing, woodworking, or anything like that, leave them in the comment section and I will try my best to answer those. Well, that was easy.